Hi, thanks for clicking and welcome back to another new video in telecom training. Today we'll be discussing about the 5G NR slot based and non slot based scheduling or the symbol based uh, scheduling. Okay, so there are two kinds of scheduling used in 5G NR. One is slot based, that means you do a transmission based on different slots in a radio frame. So uh, let's say you have one radio frame of 10 millisecond and one millisecond, you have one slot of 14 symbols. So you can do either slot label, downlink or uplink transmission. You can control them, uh, them through network parameters or we can go with a symbol based scheduling. Means in the same slot, you can allocate uh, both you know, downlink transmission and uh, you can also allow the uplink transmission to happen. And you can do that based on different symbols. In the last chapter, we have already discussed about how in NR we can do this symbol label, you know, scheduling of uplink, downlink, and special subframes, or we can have reserved subframes also uh, in the different network settings. And we have 256 number of different uh, scheduling uh, types which we can implement in our network. Today's video is an extension to that. So we'll discuss about the slot based scheduling. Slot based means basically you uh, use the entire slot for either downlink or uplink transmission. Okay. So let's say uh, first uh, example here out of 256 different formats. So first one is only downlink transmission. So all 0 to 30, that means 14 symbols in this particular radio subframe, you know, in one slot uh, this is uh, one millisecond so we are only transmitting for the downlink it could be data it could be control signaling or anything so all 14 symbols can be used for downlink transmission that could be data okay and then if we go for format 2 that will support all uplink transmission okay and if we go formats like 3 or 4 these are just examples that I am doing the downlink transmission for uh, seven symbols and then eighth symbol or symbol number seven because zero to six that is seven symbol downlink and then I am allowing four uplink transmission that means if I send some downlink data I can get the acknowledgement here in the same slot itself within one millisecond I no need to wait for the other uh, radio subframe or the second slot I can get the acknowledgement in the same slot so if I go for this one, like sending down link data and getting the acknowledgement and then I'm doing read transmission or something like that. So that means within one millisecond, I'm handling the round trip time, you know, down link data and receiving the acknowledgement. And if any, any uh, failures happening uh, in terms of downloading the packets, I can send the read transmission also. So this too would be uh, a fine example for uh, non-slot based scheduling that means in a same slot or I can do the assignments of downlink, uplink, acknowledgement, retransmission all those in a single subframe or a single slot with a different configuration in all 14 symbols so this too will be the example of symbol based or non-slot based scheduling but if I use the entire slot or the entire subframe for downlink, uplink or any particular nature of transmission then it would be slot based scheduling. So these are the different 256 formats. So if I use the entire downlink or uplink for just one kind of work, downlink data, downlink transmission, or uplink data, uplink control signaling, then that would be slot based. That means I'll transmit the entire slot. I'll wait for the next slot to get the acknowledgement. So that would be used for EMBB kind of services. But when we are talking about URL LC, all the or the ultra reliable low latency communication there we ought to have this kind of formats where actually we are getting uh, the uplink acknowledgement whether the packet is received or not and then again doing the retransmission so everything happens within one millisecond only so then when we can reach towards less than one millisecond latency or you know less than one millisecond retransmission okay so that is how we can get uh, the ultra reliability and uh, very low latency so for URL LC kind of applications, we can use this non-slot based or you know symbol based transmission. Now slot based means let's say I'm sending all 14 symbols data, waiting for the second one for acknowledgement, then I can send the data 
in the third uh, symbol sorry third slot or third subframe so that means i have to wait more but if i am doing non slot based or symbol based scheduling this four symbols i am sending data i am receiving acknowledgement in next three symbols maybe and then sending again data in next you know uh, three four five six seven symbols so the second part of the slot i am using for again downlink or retransmission so there are many merit to this one we can use this for urlc use cases second we can address multiple ues in the same slot that means i can send this four downlink uh, data for maybe four different uh, ues okay and then i can get acknowledgement from multiple ues also three ues let's say they send the acknowledgement okay we received the data or we have not received the data and then sending the retransmission again so multiple ues can be addressed uh, whether it's sending data or sending some synchronization or broadcasting information that also we can do and then the third one is uh, if we go for the non license spectrum or any urgency or any uh, you know puncturing in between the slots and sending some important information some particular ues uh, also for the you know uh, future use cases like non license spectrum we can use this kind of symbol based scheduling or non slot based scheduling in 5g nr hope this helps and uh, you have a fair idea on why uh, 5g nr is going to be very fast in terms of latency sending the data and addressing lot of ues at the same time because of this kind of features 5g nr is going to be very powerful comparing with the lte network so that is all for today we'll meet very soon again with a new topic uh, in 5g nr probably and thank you so much for watching uh, today's video stay tuned for more updates take good care of yourself till the next one do not forget to subscribe to our channel and give us a thumbs up and uh, you can share the videos and you can share your comments below the video take care bye bye